Hey guys, in an interview called I Confronted Buggy2988 about Crypto Scam, uh, it's on Caleb Hammer's second channel, Buggy compares his fatty coin to Magic the Gathering cards. <laughs> oh man, um, this is not, you know, I, I was watching it and I had no idea that was coming, but yeah, so he compared... Magic the Gathering to Fatty Coin, which is a crypto scam. And then right after, he said it was exactly like Beanie Babies. So, wow, that is a lot to kind of digest. <laughs> Not expecting to start my morning listening to Boogie talk about his crypto scam and, and bring Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is not a scam. It is, it is very far from a scam. And Beanie Babies, I would say, probably wasn't a scam. It was just kind of a fad. And maybe more like a, a pump and dump. But uh, I wouldn't compare Beanie Babies to crypto or the fatty coin that he was promoting. So he's done an interview on Caleb before. And he's talked about Magic the Gathering on that interview. On this particular interview, uh, he is again talking about Magic the Gathering. So maybe he blames it for all the bad things that's happened to him. I'm not sure why he keeps bringing it up in this context. Because in my opinion, it has nothing to do with him selling his crypto coin. Maybe he's selling his crypto coin to Magic the Gathering players. Maybe. I, I don't know. But let me let me see if I can uh, grab this here. Uh, purchase the coin. Go broke. Let me even play some audio. On the internet for a long time you've taken sponsorships you've worked with lots of different companies i think it, it's kind of just been on to it they're holding on to it for point so i don't understand what the problem is feel free to join the telegram it's entirely free you don't have to hold the point okay so when you launched it at the the, the telegram community at the same time with this coin so they use celebrities faces like this if, oh the potential victim route and you sit yeah, it's a, a very bizarre interview, uh, and obviously he's gotten a lot of views. I, I don't know if Boogie specifically has benefited from this, but uh, he got a lot of views. So 448, let's uh, play the Magic the Gathering clip. That was actually very early on in the interview. And I'm going to play the clip, and uh, you guys are going to see uh, who Boogie is. When anything happens... People lose money when they buy Magic the Gathering cards. People lose money when they buy Beanie Babies. People lose money when they buy a pet rock. Uh, you're losing money when you purchase just about anything. That was my idea for the... Okay, so he's compared Magic the Gathering to, number one, in this context, his fatty coin, which is a crypto scam that has been proven by the internet as a crypto scam. That's not great. He said he compared it to a pet rock. And then he compared it to Beanie Babies. Um, so I'm here to defend Magic, uh, as interesting as that might sound. Uh, Magic has longevity that very few things have. There are very few anything, like TV shows or media or even the Marvel movies might not last 30 years, to be honest, given the state of things right now. Um, people are not really that stupid right it's not a pet rock where it doesn't have any utility the utility in magic specifically is you can play commander you can play casual and every card does have some value to someone who it might be their favorite card now compare this to his crypto token which has no utility which is you know he's still promoting it as we go on I think it's very disingenuous, right? I, I think it's kind of crazy to compare Magic the Gathering to a crypto scam. Uh, no matter how much you dislike it, I, <laughs> there's great parallels, right? The parallel is you get something. You get a physical piece of cardboard. It may not be worth what it is printed, right? It may be worth a lot more, and people have a problem with that. But it does have the utility I mentioned that you can play with Magic cards, and that does make it slightly different from... I would say other card games. Um, I would even uh, openly say that in terms of utility, Magic prob cards probably have the highest among all card games, including Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Because uh, of Commander ED8s not rotating, you can always use your favorite cards in a deck. 
Will it be optimal? Probably not. But could you use it? Yeah, that's the definition of utility. Now, another thing that I think Boogie is trying to do, so he's he's under a lot of criticism for these scams that he's running and his e-bagging, and eventually it'll, it'll get to him, right? He was promoting his fake crypto coin, fatty coin, and now he's getting backlash. And But why, why drag Magic into this, dude? Like, when he was doing the financial debt, like, and in his, like, interview, Magic must have been a very big part of his life. And I think subconsciously or even directly, he blames Magic for where he is today. Um, but yet he won't sell his Magic collection. So he has a massive Magic collection, again, according to him. And he just refuses to sell it. And uh, people have asked him, including Caleb, why don't you just sell the whole collection? And he says, oh, well, you know, the price are going up and, and it's going really well. And I, I just want to hold on to it as an investment. And this kind of mentality is very, very bad. It's a very bad mentality for a few different reasons. Number one, um, when you think this way, it will probably be, it's a very destructive way to think. If you need the money, sell your collection. That's my best piece of advice I've done. I bought a lot of collections and my only real piece of advice for anyone who is thinking about doing that type of stuff, like you gotta get out. Um, when I mean get out, I mean you have to understand that the reality of Magic the Gathering is you're just going to spend more money, okay? So if you don't sell your collection, the problem is not that you didn't sell your collection. The problem is actually a future problem, and the future problem being that you will spend more money. I guarantee it. You will continue to buy more and more and more Magic cards until you get broke, and that's addiction. A lot of Magic players are easily addicted. I have bought... You know, I actually... I had... I was in the store, uh, my local card sh shop, and there were two people, and they needed rent. Uh, they knew that rent was due in a week, so they gambled on the newest box. They opened the box, they sold it back for $50 and the... 50 cents on the dollar. They actually got really amazing pulls at the time, at release. They sold it back to the store for 20% of their retail value. And then they bought more boxes. And eventually they had to sell their actual collection at a very low price at 20%. This isn't my store. My store, you know, we match whatever the highest buy list you can find online. And it will give you 10% trade bonus on top of giving you cash. So that's something that I don't think many or any stores in America would ever do. Because we will match any buy list. Well, back to that point, I mean, they're just constantly in this cycle. It reminds me a lot of payday loans. When you're in debt and the cycle goes, do, 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 oh, do, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, it's a very vicious cycle where you're just trying to chase the next loan. Uh, it's like gambling. Uh, on the other channel, we cover a dude called Bossman Jack, and it's exactly like gambling. It's sad to see Boogie... It's sad to see Boogie like this, because at one point he did he was the most famous magic player on earth. Not anymore. I think there's a guy called Penguin Z.